This is my friend here who is shy, so I can't show her face, but she really helped me. So I wanted you to know the things that she told me that saved me bundles of oodles of money because there are tricks to doing resin that you need to know before you start and it's really expensive. So let me give you the cost breakdown and exactly how I put resin over this painting step by step. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Julie and how to fix the bubbles, the step-by-step -step process I did to coat this three foot by four foot completely dry oil painting about an eighth of an inch deep in resin. This would also work over acrylic paint. I'll tell you the cost breakdown, the materials you need, and what I would do differently. Let's start real quick. I just want you to know this video should be under five minutes. Let me know if it's valuable to you. I hope it is. Let's start with the materials. You will need gloves, eye protection, rubbing alcohol, a mister spray bottle. I use the travel size bottle, two to three gallon bucket, stirring rubber scraper, a spreader or other stiff plastic edge, a drop cloth, paper cups to elevate your work off the drop cloth, and one helpful husband. If you don't have one, get one. This painting is 36 by 48 inches, or 0.91 meters by 1.22 meters for you sophisticated metric types. You may need to do the math in order to figure out how much resin you need. I can't help you there, but what I can tell you is this three foot by four foot painting used a whole gallon of resin. So a half gallon of hardener and a half gallon of resin. The breakdown of costs is $20 for the canvas and about $20 worth of oil paint. The resin was $75, which includes $10 in sales tax. The total was $115. The other supplies I had, I used cut open trash bags at a drop cloth. That's chunk change, so we won't count it. The Amazon kit came with two 1.75 quart buckets that are too small for this project. Use a clean two to three gallon bucket instead. The stirring scraper and spreader were in the kit. Don't do this on the floor. That's what I did. Use a table that you can walk all the way around instead. I accidentally stepped into the resin that poured over the edge, got my sneaker caught, and almost knocked over the whole project. Also, two tiny limp pieces floated up and annoyed me. We don't need your dog's DNA in there, so if you get anything value of this video, please let me know with a like. I really appreciate it. Okay, step one. Before opening the bottles, heat up some water. I boiled a pot of water and added it to a basin, or you could use a plugged sink. Set your bottles in there for like 15 minutes. That way your resin and hardener are more than 75 degrees when you mix them. Put on goggles and gloves. Dry off the bottles so no water drips get into your resin when you pour them. In your large bucket, pour the hardener, preferably down the wall of the bucket to introduce as few bubbles as possible. You need to have exactly equal amounts of each resin and hardener or the resin will never harden and cure. Stir the bucket for eight minutes in circular and figure eight motions. Don't move the stir spatula up and down or it will introduce more bubbles and it will take longer to stir out. Make sure to scrape the sides and bottoms so that it's completely combined. Set a timer for eight minutes. Don't guess and don't skimp on time. Don't use a bowl like I did. It's harder to handle than a bucket. Don't use anything you want to use again also. It's probably just going to be trash after this. I followed the instructions and poured the resin into another bucket like the instruction said. Don't do that. <laughs> it introduces more bubbles. It's just not worth it. When eight minutes of stirring are done, pour it onto your surface. Then spread the syrupy resin all around it, allowing it to drip over the edge onto your drop cloth. The resin is going to pool towards the center of your painting, so you'll be sweeping it from there. Put rubbing alcohol into a mist spray bottle. Where you see tiny bubbles, mist alcohol over the surface and watch them disappear. You'll have time to pull any impurities or bubbles over the edge and patch with more resin. It's self-leveling, so you won't even be able to notice that you did that. In 24 hours, the resin will be hard, and in 72 hours, the resin will be fully cured. Unless it says something different on your package, that's what this resin does. How does it look, Lucy? <laughs> Actually, this is my friend, and she's a little shy. She just doesn't really, she doesn't do the internet that much, so. She really helped me out by telling me the rubbing alcohol trick. It was just really important to make sure that your finished product is perfect when you spend $75 on materials. You really wanna make sure it comes out right and you've put hours into your painting. So the best thing you can do is watch this video in its entirety and then watch it again right before you're about to start the project in case you forgot anything. I hope this all works for you and helps you. Don't screw up like I did. I got caught in the plastic and nearly knocked over the whole 